Hello guys and welcome to my candle project wax update for January. What a wonderful So today's video, like I said, is going to be my update on my Project Wax where I try to get through as many candles as possible and I show you guys my progress. So I have some empties and I have some progress and one new item that I'm putting in. I'm trying not to like overwhelm myself because I think that's what I did in fall and winter um, because I didn't actually get through all of my products and I had to save some for my stash for next year. So I'm really trying to focus on what I have and what I'm enjoying and really work through it. So I'm gonna go with you guys through these four that I finished. I have some progress and then I have a new one that I'm putting into the project. So let's go ahead and get started. So since I updated you guys last, we were talking about holiday scents and now I'm kind of moving past that, but I did finish off Peppermint Sugar Cookie a lot earlier in December than I expected. And Kai wants to come say hi. Every time I film on the floor, he likes to come say hi. Hello, you like my lip gloss? Oh, thank you. Anyways, peppermint sugar cookie. Here's my progress. We went from here to here. Notes are crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. Yeah, I finished this off probably a few weeks before Christmas and I loved it. It's one of my favorites and I'm definitely gonna pick it up again next year. And then I finished off cinnamon spice vanilla and hot cocoa and cream. I think I finished this like the week of Christmas, like a little bit after Christmas, but we went from here to here. I really liked this one, to be honest. To me, it just smelled like um, hot cocoa and cream. There wasn't really a lot of cinnamon spice vanilla or anything. It was just hot cocoa and cream, but it was really nice and I enjoyed it. I like hot cocoa and cream, so I knew I would like that one. And then we have mahogany vanilla, which is warm vanilla, bergamot, and sweet sandalwood. I love this one. I'm actually really sad that it's gone because I was, I was going to go burn it like yesterday and I forgot that I already finished it. So really sad to see it go, but we went from here to here and finished it off really burned well it tunneled like near the end but it still worked really well also sorry if you just heard the heater turn off it's actually cold here in texas this week we're getting freezing temps and if you guys are ever curious about why texans always talk about freezing temps just gonna put it out there our uh infrastructure was never built to sustain freezing temps for longer than like a day or two um because we're used to like 100 degree summers and of course like our asphalt and everything is built, our homes are built to withstand that kind of heat and any other place like up north, your asphalt would probably uh, melt, your tires would probably melt in the heat, but Texas were built for that, we're used to it. Same with how, you know, homes up north are built to withstand freezing temperatures, your pipes are insulated, um, your houses are insulated, you're built for all of this, we're not. So when you hear us talk about that, that's kind of why, and we have a distrust with our government because they didn't ensure that we had power the last time this happened. So there's just a lot of like, we're just basically scared. So we treat it kind of like we would treat a hurricane and we prepare just in case the worst thing happens because a lot of people last year, not last year, two years ago, were left without power, without water, without heat. Um, I myself was in a house with my parents in 40 degrees because our AC didn't work. We didn't have any power. We did have hot water, which was great, but we had to go stay with another family because we just, you can't survive in a 40 degree house and sleep and, you know, actually be okay. So anyways, if you ever hear us talk about that, please don't just like write it off as us being stupid Texans. Um, please have a little sympathy, okay? <laughs> anyways, so that's my little ramble about that. I just get really mad when people try to downplay it for us we're just not built for that our houses and our infrastructure and our government aren't built for cold weather it's not our fault you know we do the best that we can anyways the next candle that i finished off sorry i just was a little sour because people on tiktok and like facebook and stuff are downplaying it and i'm like no people literally died the last time we had freezing temperatures so anyways um blueberry cheesecake <laughs> from homeworks um, I really liked this one. It was nice to burn when I wanted to like forget about Christmas scents. So I burned this between Christmas and New Year's and I finished it off from here all the way down. It probably could light again, but I'm too scared because it's literally at the base. Um, but this was a wonderful candle, really liked it. Every now and then Homeworks, Homeworks is like hit or miss for me. Most of them are hits, but there's a few misses. And for the price point, I don't want to have a miss that's that expensive. So I think I'll just stick to Homeworks from um, getting it from Home Goods because it's very reasonably priced there, so. Okay, next candle, I actually put this in in December and I'm gonna take it out because I don't I don't really wanna keep using it. Um, this one is Gingerbread Donut. 
I mean, it smelled nice. It wasn't very sweet. It's actually super gingery. So it's not my favorite just because it's really strong. So I'm just going to save this for next year. And I did get a little bit of progress on it, which I'm proud of that. But yeah, just going to save this one for next year and put off finishing it for now. The next one I introduced in the last month was Champagne Toast. And I'm loving it so much. It's really a pretty packaging. This is like, um, I think this came in a specific holiday box gift set. And I love the stars on it. And here's my progress from here to here. I have this one actually in my living room in this little candle holder right here. Um, and we just put it on whenever. I really love Champagne Toast. It's great year round, but I think it's also really great in the winter time besides holiday scents. So I'm really loving it. Next we have Brioche French Toast. This was a Candle Day exclusive or it had come out on Candle Day. It's fluffy brioche toast, rich maple syrup, and a dollop of butter sprinkled with cinnamon. This is really nice. It's basically pumpkin pecan waffles to me. So I actually haven't burned it. I think I burned it once, which is why I have just a little bit of progress, but it's got these huge mushroom wicks and I'm just like not feeling maple syrup right now. So I haven't burned it. I probably will come back to it soon. So I'm just gonna leave it in the project and continue to get through it. On the other hand, I've been loving Caramel Frappuccino. This one is such pretty packaging. It's this beautiful like lilac purple. I have a little bit of progress on it. The notes are rich cold brew coffee, frothy milk, and sweet caramel syrup blended with ice. Just a very sweet sugary coffee. It's like if you liked your, your milk with a little bit of coffee in it, that's what this smells like. Um, so it smells like a frappe, I guess super super sweet and sugary so i haven't really had the stomach for it recently but i know i'll go back to it in a little bit and then we have goose creek's hot cocoa and peppermint which i actually i put it back in my collection but i have so little of this left that i should really just get through it so i went from here to here in the last month and since i have barely like a week's worth of melting left in it i'm gonna actually try and finish it off in the next week um, if I leave it out in the living room, I'll definitely use it. So I'll probably light it after this and just start using it up because there's no reason to save this much of a candle for next year. So I'll just go ahead and get through that. And then something I've been absolutely loving is this Twisted Peppermint Single Wick. I've gone from here to here. I am pretty much more than halfway done. It is wonderful. It's so yummy, especially in the bathroom and the bedroom at night. It's perfect, it gives a good ambiance, like she's the moment. So I'm obsessed with her and I'm gonna keep using it up. So the next two I'm putting in are kind of fruity and to prep me for like Valentine's Day. So the first one is Wild Berry and Ube. This is a white barn one. And we are about right here. I burned it, I think twice already. It's this beautiful like milky uh, white packaging and then milky wax, it's so pretty. This one, the notes are fresh wild berries, purple ube, and creamy vanilla. It really just smells like blackberry vanilla kind of, but with a little extra bakery. I like it. It's very soft. It's a very super soft vanilla, almost like an icing kind of, and I really like it. So I'm going to keep this one in the project and try to, um, you know, just really prep for springtime with this one because it's a nice like fruity scent and it's a good break from all the gourmands that I was using in the um, holidays. And the last one that I'm putting in, I don't actually have with me because I'm currently burning it in the bedroom, and that is Champagne Cupcake. I picked this one up, I want to say at SAS because it came out for last year's 2023 Valentine's Day with the beautiful like ceramic lid with the hearts on it. So pretty and it smells really, really yummy. I'll put the Champagne Cupcake scent notes right here because I don't know them off the top of my head, but it's a wonderful gourmand scent. It's got that like sweet buttercream um, with a little bit of like fluffy cake. It smells really, really good and it's nice and fruity. So again, it's a little break from those heavy gourmands I was using in the holidays and I'm loving it in the bedroom. It's really, really nice, especially like nearing um, bedtime. It's like a nice comforting scent. So loving that one. It's probably gonna be finished up pretty soon, but those are the seven candles that I'll be working on in the next month. Excited to show you guys my progress and to kind of finish off the holiday scents because I'm I'm kind of over it. <laughs> Even though it's cold here, um, I'm kind of over the holiday scents. So yeah, let me know down below what's your favorite candle that you're burning right now. Did you pick up one during SAS? I honestly, I blocked out SAS, you guys. Are you proud of me? I blocked it out. I didn't go at all. I didn't look at any um, media about SAS. I didn't watch any hauls. So I wouldn't like, you know, feel the need to go shopping. I didn't go at all. So <laughs> I hope you guys are proud of me. I think I did pretty good. 
Um, I am on a low buy right now. I don't, I'm actually, uh, I never really established terms, but I'm basically on a no buy for candles and body care. And I did just pick up some skincare because I did like a little restock um, on Sephora. But yeah, I'm not trying to buy, I'm trying not to buy any candles and any body care for the next couple of months until I can get through what I have. Um, just kind of get my collection down because that's usually what happens at the end of the year. I have so much leftovers from buying during fall and winter that I just need to like slow my roll and stop buying. So yeah, I didn't buy it all during SAS. So I hope you're proud of me, but let me know down below if you picked up any fun candles during SAS and what you're burning right now. But that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.